What's going on? Welcome back to another video of my Let's Play of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. We are finally back in playing Westland Survival. I know it's been a little while guys and I do apologise. If you guys know me well enough, if you've seen my community tab post, you know exactly what went down. So I'm not going to elaborate further on that, but just to sort of give you guys a quick update. Yeah, it's been a bit, it's been a couple of weeks. Um, you know what? It's been a bit of a break for me, which is good. So I had a bit of a chance to unwind and sort of, you know, relax. Um, had some time off work, all that sort of good stuff as well. So a bit of time to relax, but you know what? Need to get back in and start playing this awesome game. And at least this way you guys are, you know, entertained again. So, you know, I'm glad that you guys have stuck around as well at the same time and all that sort of good stuff. So, as I said, just wanted to sort of get that out there but also let's get into today's video and what we're doing today is I've got a whole bunch of tubes to open up so we've got about 115 by my account here to open up so let's go ahead and open up these tubes and see what we've got and I guess we'll do something else uh, throughout the video as well but what whilst I'm doing that I might as well quickly get some food happening because uh, my dude's a little bit hungry so let's have a quick look see into this and let's just eat that I'm just actually gonna have that with me as well and we should be alright yeah I think we're good right it so let's get into it okay so here's the first one got a Henry 44 that's all well and good Folding shotgun. We've got the Winchester, nice. Longbow. And deputy's pants. Leather boots. Straw hat. And coppice of bow. Now I'm gonna leave the uncommon ones till the end. So we'll do that in due course, of course. But let's go ahead and just continually open up all of these fellas here so far. We're getting some pretty basic things. Nothing really interesting at the minute. Cowboy jacket. Honestly, I don't know what I'm really more interested in getting. If I'm being honest. Can't tell you. I can't tell you at all. But getting more of the Winchester, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm guessing maybe just some of more my, you know, what the SW model maybe, I don't know. Uh, Peacemaker. That's a decent upgrade. 40 plus. And that's uncommon as well that I plucked. That's not too bad actually. Wow. All right. So I guess maybe if I'm really being honest, if I, or if I want something in particular, I'm guessing maybe I should be getting something that I will commonly always use. So, or that I craft, so like my everyday stuff, okay? So let's say for example, anything iron tool related, maybe bronze tool for say weaponry and things like that. If I get decent upgrades on those, that way then I know I don't have to spend too much resources in crafting those, but also I can use them effectively when I'm out and about, you know, mucking about in zones and things like that. So that's probably where I'm thinking that might be, you know, a good option for me so you like the sturdy jacket the sturdy jacket is something that I would you know normally would craft myself all the time and just so I can run into zones and do whatever all that sort of good stuff so maybe that might be a good thing I don't know see so that you've got the block not uh, flint there now I think that is uh, iron weapons if I get anything particularly in brass variety that that might be cool because I know I've got a ton of that sort of stuff there Colt Walker, there you go. Uh, SW1 again, I'm getting a few of those actually. Smith Carbine, there we go. It's a new, um, it's a new one for me. So we're getting through these pretty good actually, pretty quickly. Uh, leather boots, stone hammer, boots again. Coach shotgun. Uh, fast loading shotgun. Okay, bear fur coat. Not bad. Pants. 
leather boots again, straw hat, <laughs> and we're just getting folding shotgun, that's not too bad, deputy's hat, maybe more armor than anything else I guess, I don't know, common armor that I probably would be more inclined to use. Go coat shotgun again, and okay, so we've got the bow there. Bayonet knife, that got a little bit of a bump up. So it looks like a lot of these are like ones and twos, but then you do get some out of nowhere that gives you um, a lot more, so like at least 20 plus, which is great. Which is something that, you know, you don't really expect, and once you do get it, it's, you know, it's a, it's a nice little, um, triple six, <laughs> devil's number there. Um, it's a nice little surprise, I guess, if you will. Fur boots, received a bit of an upgrade, and I always want, you know, if I'm getting armor upgrades, I'd love to get all four armor pieces to get an even upgrade, if that makes sense. You know, you don't want to be too heavily biased on one and then, and not the others kind of thing, because if you've got a whole, a full set of clothing, you know, obviously one's going to sort of, you know, sustain a little bit longer than others and things like that. So yeah, I just feel like, you know, it should be like a bit of a, um, uh, an even gradual upgrade. I don't know. That's my, that's my thought process with that. Let's just go ahead and eat that real quick and let's open up some of the uncommon stuff. Okay. All right. So as I can see with the uncommon here, immediately you get, obviously they're all going to be uncommon items, but also by the looks of things, it's more inclined for you to get higher spec increases, which is good, which should be expected. Buffalo rifle, that doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, bear fur pants, SW2, got a boost, very good, goes up to 700, more boots. Uh, the block knife, oh flint, sorry, again, wow, I can't wait to craft that bad boy, that's going to be a good weapon for me, um, and then we get some of these ones that I really don't care for, they're good, don't get me wrong, sturdy hat, eh, fine jeans, see, the fine jeans I would use, the sturdy boots I would use. So nice little upgrades. Uncommon bow. Buffalo rifle again. Ooh. Ooh, yes. I've been hanging out to get this thing. That is a spicy meatball, my friends. That is great. Look at that. Oh, yes. Over a thousand damage. A hundred attack speed. That is great. A slow attack slows target by 25% for point for half a second level one only wow that is sick sturdy jacket you know what that pretty much makes this all worth it I reckon that is awesome I'll be, oh, I'd love it if I get something else really nice as well peacemaker again see look the peacemaker is gonna be a good versatile weapon I'm gonna show you why in a moment saber and the Ranger Coat, and lucky last, Officer's Sabre. That's not bad either. There we go, deals 100 damage over 3 seconds, 10% critical strike chance, level 1 blueprint made at the forge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well, let's go quickly have a look. So there's the forge here. As you can see, I've got all these newbies here. Where's that officer saber? Yeah, you're gonna need some decent resources and I'm still gonna have to upgrade these things as well, uh, which I don't have the materials for, but <laughs> more on that later. Um, but yeah, that looks sweet, okay. And then let's head over to our uh, armor bench here. So these have been upgraded just a little bit, which is good. So I'm happy with that. Very good. And then finally over here. So let's see, what did we get? So usually I, I like using the Remington only because it's cheap, it's easy to make, and obviously 
iron parts are going to be easier to make and craft and things like that. What I was sort of hoping is if I got an increase to say the, the Mariette there. Um, pepper box, maybe not so much. Uh, but only because that I can have decent weapons, even maybe the Beretta here, if it received an upgrade, that would have been an, an okay thing. Only because I can have good weapons, I can run into hard zones like in the southern zone, things like that, just so I can um, use those weapons to their full extent without having to, say, craft into steel or anything like that. It's probably the only reason why I sort of wanted to look at that. Anyway, and then when... You, what you've got over here, you've got the Colt Walker. Now, um, let's quickly look at the, the block flint first. So that went up to 388, so it still uses iron parts, which is cool. And then you've got the Colt Patterson here, um, which uses, which is close, very close in terms of the um, the output here, but slightly less if you go with the Reventine in terms of um, uh, crafting materials and whatnot. But you've got the Colt Walker here, which is the entry point to the steel, um, weaponry so with that that's not too bad 415 125 very little steel that needs to be crafted which is good and steel parts which is um, a three there now let's go to the peacemaker you only need one of each extra and then I've got a very decent relatively good weapon for me to use whilst I am basically play, uh, mucking about with this because if I go to the, the uh, Lamart here, it is over 100 in terms of upgrade, in terms of damage output. But when you look at it here in the grand scheme of things, you are using a little bit extra resources as well. So it does have that behind it. And then uh, what have I got here? The Buffalo Rifle here that uses a little bit extra in terms of resources. SW Model 1, that's going to be using um, all the alloy stuff. This thing is going to be ridiculous once I get this on deck and then I've got the SW model 2 which is at 781 that's huge and then couple that with um, with your player attack power and all that sort of good stuff that's going to actually give you you know I, I would think a reasonable amount of firepower at the end of the day anyway let's whoops let's jump into my my map overview over here oops uh, let's go to the workshops here just so I can highlight them a little bit better. Now, I did show this in my previous video here as well, but I have advanced a little bit further into this as well, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea on what I'm working on. So just to sort of give you a bit of an idea that I've got the flooring upgraded here to uh, shale. Next will be uh, basalt and then granite effectively, and then that will sort of allow me to move freely a lot of my, um, my workstations over. So. As you can see, I'm gonna try and get workstations over here as much as I can, as best as I can. And then I've got my um, my storage containers over here. They're gonna come up the top over here just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea. And this way, it's a little bit out of the way. It works. I don't know. That's the way I'm gonna do it. And then obviously I'm just gonna make some walls part of the building here. And it's just gonna go right around kind of thing. And then that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much going to be the way though how I'm going to have the base set up. It's going to be a little bit more compact, a little bit more snug. Anything extra in regards to say storage, um, uh, uh, sorry, storage containers here. So uh, my, my little um, my little loot bins over here, I'm going to have them pretty much surrounding the base all around and only because I, I can have them out of the way. If I need to pull them in, I can pull them in gradually once I have everything sorted out. So that's pretty much long term what I'm sort of looking at in that sort of sense there but that's pretty much it just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea as to what I'm sort of up to and how I'm sort of progressing along with everything else in between um, oh did that get upgraded as well that did get upgraded as well because I don't think they were increased in terms of their attack power or maybe not I'm not sure, maybe they've always been like that. I have no idea. I don't know. I honestly can't remember. Not too sure at all, but yeah, okay. All right, now I'm just sort of having a look here just to make sure that if I'm seeing things or not. 
I'm still reluctant to use these things. I think I just want to keep them as, you know, like little mementos, things like that. I don't know. Uh, just thinking. Just thinking. And that's pretty much it that I've got here. Well, what we can do is we can sort of head out and see if there's anything about that I want to sort of, you know, I sort of want to do. Oop, I still got a bit of, um, bit of, uh, what do you call it? Oak log in here. And I went on a massive oak log spree. I got so much oak. It's crazy. It was absolutely insane. The amount of stuff that I was able to get. But anyway, what I can do here is we can head out. I'll actually go ahead and see what's about, I guess. There we go. Let's head out. Okay, so there's not much going on at the moment. So what we can do is, do I actually have any heals? I don't actually have any decent heals on me. So that's fine. What we might do is I'm going to quickly head back in. And we will have a bit of a sus of what type of heals that I've got and we might even just head into one of the southern zones see if I can get some uh, some large lark boards large lark I don't know how however you want to pronounce them uh, let's have a look I think I might grab a bottle of that and I might make a two just in case and I'm gonna go in defenseless I'm not gonna worry about any sort of um, uh, clothing or anything like that. I think I should be alright. There's all, they're always famous words at the end of the day. <laughs> so let's uh, let's head over real quickly. Uses a chunk of energy. I've realised that, and still reluctant on using any sort of oats these days as well with the horse. I mean, I should be using the horse a lot more, well, the oats effectively, just so I can get around a lot more and um, and use, uh, you know, without having to use energy and things like that. That's probably what I should be focusing on, but what do you do? Alrighty, so let's get in, see if there's any large logs for us to get let's have a look see you know I was mucking about with this a little while back just to see if there was any way I can sort of I don't know actively know where to go so to speak and obviously the the zones themselves they do change all the time when you sort of head in here so even though that you do your best and you try to sort of um, uh, navigate your way around and you feel like if you can find where those where those trees are, you, <coughs> excuse me, you can essentially just get yourself in and out, no fuss. Probably deal with the uh, with the piazza that's there, and then that's pretty much it. But there's really no signs to it, unfortunately. Not that I've seen. Not that I've seen at all. Okay, well, it didn't trigger you, which is good. Won't trigger you. That's even better. And we'll just sort of head around. I'm just keeping my eye on the minimap here at the minute. Just seeing where I'm sort of going, so... And the only way that I sort of know initially if I'm sort of heading the right direction is more or less if there's um, a whole lot of oak trees. And if I see a cluster of oak trees, then I know, okay, cool, we're going to get some, some larch and then we're, we're good to go from there. But obviously in some instances such as this it doesn't to be uh, appear to be apparent which is annoying so I've pretty much covered everything as it is and there's nothing here even if I go through these fellows here there's nothing gonna be there for me so I'll just sneak my way around as you do and we might actually run up and back, I guess. Ooh. 
Well, there is a few areas uh, PR, so here. Interested to see exactly how well my dude handles this as well. Oop. Oop. Okay, so what we're doing here is probably something really stupid, but what can you do? Let's just deal with you and then deal with the Alpha Wolf here because I want that hide. That's the only reason why I'm attacking it. And you don't give me the hide that I want. Okay, cool. So let's head out. And yeah. Ooh, what do we have over here? That's a shootout spot. That's okay. So let's run over here. And I guess the, the only other upside as to probably why I haven't been using oats a lot is the fact that I've got enough coin. Yeah, I've got enough coin to do the job each and every time. So it doesn't really bother me in a sense if I don't use oats. And I guess that way I can just spend my coins and use this. And use it in that way, sorry. Yeah. It's probably the reason why that I do it the way that I do it. But I guess a lot of you guys would have it your way as well. You guys have your own ways. If you guys tend to use oats, and if you guys tend to use coins, or if you use a little bit of both, or if you guys are really, really strict on it, you just use your energy and that that's it. You don't use it for anything else. Just use the energy of what's supplied, wait for your guy to go to and from zones, or essentially wait for your, um, your energy to heal up again and then away you go again if you've got the patience for it of course all right so let's see here we go as soon as you see the cluster of oak you know you just know okay now we're gonna have to take our little piazza fella down and he is a, in a very aggressive animal as you can see Spirit, spiritual animal i guess Let's just quickly heal up before I get in real big trouble. There we go. So I didn't get too bad of, um, of a hide there. Usually I get one if I'm lucky. And if I get two or more, then I'm really lucky with that. But yeah, it's weird. Very weird. Come on. Okay. And then you just get the rest of this. And I think what you get out of this is probably enough each time you enter the zone and I think it's probably a good balance and there goes that and I don't think I have anything I always thought the steel axe would have been enough to be honest and I didn't think of fashioning another one which is really disappointing on my part It'd be nice if I actually had another uh, axe in here which I do very lucky so we'll just grab this fella first. There we go. Come on. A. And one more. Perfect. Alrighty. And I usually just come in and. Oh, grizzly. Got a grizzly. Got a grizz. There we go. And we have uh, the little, little lootable chest here. I'll grab that and that. I won't bother with that. That's probably going to go ahead and leave it. So yeah, pretty much. I, I think I feel like getting large here is a fine balance. You get a, you get what about 15 logs. I think that's sufficient for tier five as well. You got to make it grindy. You got to make it a little bit harder. You can't make it as easy to come by. Ash is forever easy to come by. Now you can get a lot of ash in these in this zone. So there's really no need to worry about that. But we're going to go ahead and finish it off for today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video as always. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, seeing what you like, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, guys, take it easy. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.